Time for our first mystery bag. All right, I picked up this mystery bag. No, I did not get it from eBay, and I'm not going to divulge who I got it from until we go through it. I paid a hundred dollars, hundred and seven with shipping. Claims to be decent value, so uh, let's see what we got. All right, I've got everything extracted, so let's start going through it. Uh, the first coin in this is a VG8 1923s Buffalo nickel. Uh, gray sheet on this is like seven fifty, so not too bad there. Um, I'll definitely keep that for the collection. Uh, then we had our first silver, this uh, Olympics commemorative from uh, 1988. It's a proof. It's 90%. Uh, and it's going for about 23 bucks on eBay. Uh, then we had three 90% uh, halves, two, uh, two Kennedys, one Benji, all common dates, all typical condition that I've seen it either the local coin show every month or uh, at the coin shop for, uh, you know, their uh, spot plus pricing. So uh, I'm just going to call it at spot and say that the three of these are worth uh, $27.50, at least today. Uh, then we also got this 40%, which is worth about three seventy-five, not $7. Because I've pulled, I've pulled better looking uh, 40 percenters out of... Uh, coin roll hunting. I mean, it's got good luster and everything, but I mean, uh, I just did a coin roll hunt where I pulled 11 67s out. So I, I guess I just don't really see the overall numismatic value of these. So let me know what you think. Um, then we had this proof uh, Saratoga quarter. Unfortunately, I popped it out. It is clad. Um, so, uh, he had it marked as three. I feel like I could pick this up for a buck 50 to two bucks on eBay. Uh, then we also had this uncirculated Frederick Douglas, uh, 2017 S uncirculated, uh, quarter. Um, check that one out on eBay and that one's probably about two bucks as well. Uh, then we had just a bicentennial half, and uh, honestly, uh, I see so many of these coin roll hunting. This is worth 50 cents to me and not $2. Uh, the same kind of vein, uh, the 78 uh, Denver uh, Ike. I mean, it's got some staining. I'm not going to call it toning. Uh, some other marks and, and whatnot on it. So, I mean, to me, this is like a dollar, $1, dollar fifty coin at the coin shop. So... And there's this toned clad bicentennial quarter. I mean, the toning's nice, but at the end of the day, for me, it's a clad quarter. I see so many of them. It's worth a quarter to me. Uh, next, we got this 1973S proof. And, I mean, it's just a proof penny. And it, I don't know if the camera really picks it up, but there's some black spotting on it, so... It's a, I'd call it a cameo. I'm not going to call it a deep. Uh, but uh, with the spotting, I don't know. We'll be generous and say $2. Uh, then we had a uh, dateless Merc. Uh, it's got it marked at 4 Current spot price is a, about a buck eighty-five. And then we had a slick no date SLQ. Uh, again, spot price on this is about uh, four seventy-five. Uh, then there was this uh, Andrew Jackson, uh, one dollar, and I did a little bit of checking for varieties, but honestly, to me, it, it's really just a dollar coin. But uh, just to be a little generous, we'll call it two. And then we got this uh, nineteen oh seven Indian head, and I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like there's a touch of corrosion right in there on it uh so again i'll i'll call that maybe a buck uh, and then we've got this uh 1906 v nickel uh it does have a scratch it's well worn some of the stars are almost gone um 
I, I would probably call this a buck. And then last but not least, uh, we have got this uh, no date braided hair, uh, large scent. Um, I did a little digging on eBay. I'm just not a whole whole lot familiar with coppers, and this looks to be like maybe a five dollar coin. So that brings us to approximately, uh, we'll call it eighty five dollars and some change. So we paid one hundred seven. We got about eighty five dollars worth of value. Uh, I can't say that it's uh, too terrible. I mean, the dealer has to make some profit off of it because why would they be selling it if they didn't? Um, and I think it's a it's a decent variety. I think what I'd like to see maybe a little less clad and maybe one more, you know, um, maybe a Washington silver quarter that's still relatively, I'm not saying BU, but relatively good condition. Um, but... Uh, but other than that, I mean, not too bad. Pretty fun. I'll probably put some of these proofs in my uh, albums, keep the silver as always, and then uh, some of this stuff, uh, like this dollar coin, might end up uh, getting spent by my kid, just like uh, this clad half and the clad Ike. I'm happy to reveal that this uh, mystery bag is from Portsmouth Coin Company, um, which is uh, run over there by uh, Daniel from Coin Help You. He did not know this was for a review, so uh, I think he's doing pretty good on this. Um, I would have probably have liked to seen maybe another silver, a, a, maybe a silver George Washington quarter uh, that was near BU uh, instead of these these clad pieces. Uh, but uh, overall, I think some of these will make n nice addition, additions to my collection. Some of them I'll be giving away on my. Uh, channel but uh let me know what you think down in the comments below about my pricing and whatnot if i was off not you know too uh too stingy or uh too generous that kind of thing so if you want to see more of my videos and if i've earned it i hope you'll click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications of my next video if you like this video i hope you'll give it a thumbs up as always thanks for watching and happy hunting